so much fun. <laughs> TV. Boom, 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 boom. Except I would do a different logo, okay? <laughs> Hi, I am Jessie. My channel is Glam Jessie. This is a DIY room decor fan edition, which is honestly just my favorite video to do. I think we're all kind of fans of something. Yeah. Don't deny it. <laughs> so, if you're a fan of a celebrity, a band, bands or life, <laughs> Um, uh, this video is going to help you because I know some people just have, like movie posters in their rooms and stuff like that Which is obviously like cool, but these are just different ways to kind of incorporate stuff like that And also if you aren't a fan of anything great things to become a huge fan of out there And there are some awesome like tumblr communities that you could join <laughs> This video will still be helpful to you. There are still some really cool just DIY ideas in here that will work even if you're not a fan of anything these could honestly look different just depending on what side of Tumblr you're on, if you get what I'm saying. So I took this really cool guitar picture and I actually put that speech bubble on top of it. And now I printed that onto photo transfer paper. And you could really put whatever image, you know, I, I thought this was pretty, pretty grunge. <laughs> and I cut that out and put it onto a tie-dye t-shirt and now I'm ironing it on. It just depends on whatever photo transfer paper that you have. So now I'm putting the t-shirt over a pillow, which I know it like, sounds pretty weird, and I'm repositioning it so that the image is right in the center. You can fabric glue the sleeves, but I chose to fold them in because I was just going to have it temporarily. And if you want to take it a step farther, you could also sew, and that is the pillow. I also did this one that says professional fangirl, which I just want to show you. <laughs> For the top of the shirt, if it really annoys you, you can also fabric glue or Boom. sew that. You're done. <laughs> Baby, won't you kiss my cheek? Found my way. So I got my glass hanging bowl from Michaels, and then I got this kind of soily type of stuff to fill inside, also from Michaels, but I'm sure you can get them at a lot of craft stores. And then I got these mini trees. You can even get them at toy stores and stuff. But I think it really made it, you know, really made it look more like a habitat. Then I printed out various things from things I like, like a TARDIS. Uh, you, you and Harry Styles kind of looks hilarious in there. <laughs> I also took these little, like, fictional figurines I found in, like, a toy section at Michael's, which I thought were really cute, and I had to add them. And they're, like, little Pegasuses, and I just put them in. You just have to be a little careful because they can fall over, but once they're kind of, like, on your desk or whatever, they're not going to move too much. Then I put in my pictures, they're kind of like faced upwards as you can see, I have like the little TARDIS kind of hanging in the back, I think it looks really cool. And then I added some glitter because why not, and it makes it look a thousand times more magical and pretty. <laughs> really find a silhouette picture on Google of like any character you like, any instrument you play, um, any creature from a fictional whatever, <laughs> you get it. So I took these wood blocks um, and spray painted them white. It didn't take that long and you can really spray paint them whatever color. For better quality, I recommend to print out your silhouettes on some type of photo paper. And now I'm just putting the silhouettes along with just what these TV shows are. These are two of my favorite shows, so I decided to put them onto this. Crazy glue definitely works best because a glue stick or something may not like ensure that it's going to stay too long. I'm also kind of obsessed with music, so I did one with a bunch of my favorite albums and silhouette guitar and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Find a pixel for really anything, even like a favorite band member that isn't in like a, a video game or anything. They actually have pixels for that too. It's pretty cool. These beads were kind of literally my childhood. It was pretty cool to be using them again. So I just took a template from online. They actually have a ton of them and just filled it in. I find it's easiest if you do it by color. Uh, you know, just color by color. I ironed them with parchment paper on top, and then I took a chalkboard frame, pretty cool, and some Velcro stickers, and I stuck the fuzzy side of the Velcro to the Pokeball and the harsh ones, harsh ones, um, to the frame. Follow me. Won't you follow me? I'm gonna take off the glasses. 
disasters, things are getting serious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So definitely be sure to subscribe to Awesomeness because they're awesome. See what I did there? <laughs> maybe if you guys like commented what you're a fan of, this I do in my videos and maybe we could fangirl together. Like a very suspenseful ending. <laughs> it was so perfect, I wanted to miss some time.